Hello, my air sign friends, and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo, and I'm bringing you your Thursday, December 7th, 2017 um, daily soulmate and love uh, reading. I want to thank you all for your incredible amount of patience you have shown me. Um, my apologies for being off YouTube the last couple days. I lost a family member to an uh, unexpected um, accident, and I just had to take a couple days away um, to be with my family and and deal with my own loss. So thank you for your understanding. I apologize for those of you who have ordered personal readings. I tried to do some here and there the last couple days, and, and it was really hard, so I just had to take a couple days away. Um, uh, for those of you booking on my site, uh, when you book for a time and day, that is not the time and day you're getting your reading. It's in the description box. Um, that is the time and day. All orders are delivered at least two to four days out from your reading, unless you order an emergency reading and then you'll get it within 24 hours. Um, if you book a time and day, uh, for example, if I book tonight at nine o'clock, it's December 6th, 9 p.m., then I I know that I am going to have my reading no later than 9 p.m. on December 10th, four days later, because there's that two to four day window. Um, it could come sooner. Uh, chances are right now, though, it, it won't just because um, with my computer last week and then now my loss this week. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm just I'm really pushing to get orders out on time. So. I do it that way because I only want to allow five bookings a day. That way I can give you the appropriate amount of time you deserve, the quality of reading you deserve, and if you've gotten an order from me but or you already know, I never stay on time. I'm always 15, 20 minutes late on my readings. Like They are always way longer than what you buy. So I don't want to just cut a message off short that isn't meant for you just because my next client is there. So I only allow five bookings a day. Once those are filled, then it goes on to the next day. And that's why um, that's why I can't do them like as you, as you um, book them. But I had to do them that way because otherwise it wouldn't limit the number. If I didn't have times on there and just let people pick days, then um, I could have 50 book in one day. Well, that's impossible. So I had to put the times on there. So I'm just using the time slot as your deadline day uh, time for when it's due. But all readings are at least two to four days out from the day you book them. It's described on my price guide um, on my website. It's indigo goddess or indigo goddess 1111.com. It's uh, described there as well as the homepage of my booking site if you have any questions. So um, if you booked on there and I haven't got you an invoice yet, I apologize. Like I said, I have been away from my computer um, with family, so I will try to get those all out to you tonight. So I'm very truly sorry. Um, I hope you guys understand. So air signs, here Thursday. Well, for one, you can't go wrong today. You got, you got shit going on. <laughs> you are coming out of a cycle where you've been betrayed. Um, people have been uh, trying to corrupt a situation of yours, but you don't care. You are sitting pretty and enjoying all your hard work and admiring what you've done with your life while you let all the, um, all the bullshit go on behind your back because you really don't care. It don't affect you. You are better than that. And that's because, and that's why you are getting a, a fresh start. You have a new outlook on life. Um, your knight in shining armor, he's coming in. He's just going, coming a little slow. And for some of you, your wishes are coming true. Um, can, I can't get much clearer than that. The two wish cards of the um, deck, both out in the same day. And it's because of all your hard work. You have really put in work to this connection. Um, to this job, it could be. Um, this is a job coming, or a job that you have been hoping for, wishing for, wanting. Um, 
and you left a toxic job before a toxic situation at a job and your new job is going to bring you bank, you are going to be able to really reap what you sow and you're going to be very successful at this new job. So congratulations, air sign. That is amazing. You have an awesome, awesome Thursday coming up. That's the best read I've had all day for sure. And you guys are my last ones. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for single air signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Thursday, December 7th, 2017? What messages do you have for our single air signs? Okay. All right. So unfortunately, some of you are getting played with. Um, they are playing with your mind and your heart. The temperance card, just uh, really, um, Spirit's saying walk away and work on yourself. Come balance, Become balanced because they're just bringing you drama. They're bringing in um, heartache. you got the chariot in reverse. So if you're waiting on somebody to leave somebody else to come be with you, it's not happening. Um Yeah, and you got the Knight uh, or the Page of Pentacles here, clarifying, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone's being cut off, and they're cutting you off because they're married. So, air signs, it's not worth it. <laughs> you, they are married. I do see you guys doing the right thing and walking away, though. So, good for that. But you're still stuck on them. You're still stuck in your head about this uh, relationship or or whatever it, you know you had. What am I doing? Angels and spirit, can you please give me a message for air signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in relation or in for exclusively married and exclusively married? I can't talk. What the heck? That sometimes happens to me when I get messages coming in. It's like I'm trying to listen to my messages and talk at the same time, but I have to really think about what I'm going to say because I'm trying to listen. It just comes out all flubbed up. So I apologize. Um, okay. Couples married and exclusively dating. For some of you, we got the moon card here. There's, there's secrets going on. I usually... Um, don't really feel like it's like secrets of cheating, though in this case, Spirit is saying to trust your gut because something is going on that you don't know about, but you have a um, sneaky suspicion that somebody is offering their cup to somebody else um, while you are in a relationship. The Ace of Swords is in reverse, so um, all you want is clarity. But Spirit is saying you got clarity. Your in intuition is on point. Listen to it. Your gut is telling you there's signs everywhere. Um, you got the Four of Cups here clarifying the moon. So somebody is offering um, love to two people. So what I get there. And then you have the Two of Pentacles uh, clarifying the King of Cups. So somebody has two choices in love. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you're going to find out some unfortunate news, uh, air signs, and it's the two of cups in reverse. You're finding out that the two of cups is in reverse and the wheel of karma is going to turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. You got the eight of swords. Um, yeah. So some of you, you got the queen of pentacles here, which as you can see, like, He's like wanting her attention and she's just not really ignoring it, which ties into the four of cups. Um, and then you got the queen of swords with the ace of swords in reverse. So, and the moon card. So, um, spirit is saying you have somebody, your partner or you are doing this to your partner is offering your love to two people. And unfortunately, it's going to come back and bite somebody in the hiney. So, um, but you, if that tied in with the first reading, um, with your work, 
somebody is getting a new job and a new start and starting all over. And it could be the ones that are having trouble in the marriage because it did say you were leaving your cups behind to go start the job of your dreams. So you'll be successful in one area, if not the other. For those of you who are happily um, married and having no issues... You're going to be just fine. You have the um, nine of wands. You're defending your marriage. You um, are defending your relationship and so are they. You have the three of swords in reverse, which means there was heartache in the, uh, in the past. But you guys are out of that now. And you are happy. And you're going to be just fine. You are making it. And Spirit says just... Um, to keep putting in the work because when, just because you're married don't mean the work stops. You still have to continue to fight for it and to work hard at it. And as long as you do that, you'll be just fine. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday and I will see you guys tomorrow.